Very warm welcome if you're watching replay version of this first look at expert qualifying round big top tournament. Don't forget to thumbs up on the video and if you are again watching replay timestamps will be in the description down below. So if you want to jump to a certain hole then you can do so. Bear in mind this is a first look and will not be dialed in but hopefully present some options. Check out the wins that we do have and then deal with it as we need to. No send it option on hole number one at least. So we do have um, some stuff here we can reference. I do believe this is going to be decent for the rough bump. Uh, may take some tokens on the par threes, we'll see, but most of all focus will be just to get the holes through. So we're going to go Kingmaker, Apoc and Grizzly. Let's go, hole number one. You hate the one that says share with your friends as you don't have any. <laughs> Charles, you have friends in the chat. Okay. Uh, now, can we go directly over there then? Max 10, six rings. Takes me into two rings, so I'm going to go with a little bit more than that. Let's see if we can clear. It might be uh, needing more OP though. Okay, did hit a grade, but that's okay. Can bounce over as well if you want to. Yeah, you can actually still share the replay. You just need to record it. I, I think Charles may have been pulling our leg, our collective legs. Deli Emmanuel, how are you doing? Thank you for the good luck. Uh, Tyron says, do you think going to Master Weekly affects your tournament bracket since tier system... Or does it not change anything? It doesn't change anything, I don't, I, I don't believe. Would you play the bounce over at mid? Yeah, I think I would, Kane. I think I would. Mid plus 10. It should be okay. Um, let's see what angle we have on the rough bump here. Like, like I said, if I miss the rough completely or hit the sand then... It doesn't bother me too much. Short time bounce over is safe. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. Well, in our case, yeah, it would be a short time. But the, the rough bump is a nice wind here. We've just got to look at our club distance. We can do a, a bit of a fringe check, which might be useful. with a bit more top spin. Okay, 7.2, I'm gonna play 30 slider, 6.4. Oh, damn great ball, because I've got to get used to the new needle speed. We only just hit the rough though, obviously with a grade. Hit the rough very high. Um, so, I would then just pull a little bit of a pull angle on that, to be honest. Granted it a grade, but a perfect would also hit the rough very high as well. Okay, need to actually play the right needle speed, would help. Yeah, tier is based more on tournament results. It's If you've played less than 20 tournaments, then they look at your trophy level and I believe your win percentage. 
Um, played zero cane. Thank you for the reminder. Played thirty uh, percent slider, zero elevation. It's going to be in between mean, uh, min and mid. On that. Um, but on that one, you then going to need a small eleven fifty nine. I believe if I've got my wind arrows the right way round in my mind, just need to pull a bit more away from the green on that one. Okay, all two. Yeah, gone are the days where you used to panic about weekly league and deliberately progressing or not progressing as people wanted to do. Tailwind, okay. We definitely had this win before, I know, but it's just a case of finding what we did. Okay, so I know like a lot of the thing now is wind four. There was a rough bump here, actually. There was a rough bump. I wonder what we did in pro. Oh, we did rough bump in pro, or we did Goliath bounce over. You know what? I might try the old rough bump because I'm not. I'm not playing expert after today. So I'm wondering uh, if I'm just going to have a go at this roughy. Now it was a wind four ball last time. I'm going to have a go with the kingmaker. Put it in the bunker, then chip in the hole. As James says, Goliath 20 max, if you don't want to do the rough bump. I'm just going to go for it because, um, like I said, I'm not bothered about score here. I'm just going to see if I can get a perfect ball away and not fly the rough. Seven point two gonna be eight point one. Nice to have low wind actually with the Kingmaker. Perfect away. Contacted the rough. Oh just missed left edge. Good try though, max plus ten. That one, max plus 10. At least we got the perfect ball away, which was my main uh, area of concern with that shot, was actually contacting the rough. Uh, Gail, good luck from uh, New Jersey, USA. Thank you so much. Jeffrey as well, East Coast. Very, very much appreciated. Is this you? I did wonder. Let's uh, let's give him some emoji abuse then. That's <laughs> what they're there for, right? Uh, yeah, could tweak the side spin there, Lee. Uh, did one back, one and a half left. Might just need a little bit of a tweak on that, and and that's going to be one um, with. You know, something you can have a little tweak at, and look at the wind angle as well. You know, obviously a wind. Oh, we'll missed either side. Good, good try though, Will. Very good attempt. Um, wind four ball is better. I know, like the convention is at the moment, try and keep the wind between six and eight. In in expert, you know, just eliminates those higher winds with the kingmaker. Um, but you know, I think really, obviously, if you don't feel comfortable with that, like uh, James said, bounce over with the Goliath. Um, but you, you want to really chase the drop, then uh, it's going to have to be the rough bump, really. Uh, Will is obviously uh, 
taking this to the practice round. Great shot, dangerous. I think. Uh, I think it would be Stelios. I think it would be. Good luck, Will. Thank you for the chest. Ah, oh, look at that then. What a absolutely awful wind angle. So, what are we going to do on hole three? See if we've had anything here before. Oh, that's vile, isn't it? Almost makes me want to play out to the to the right. We have to bounce over on the second shot. I think on this one. We've had similar going the opposite way. Here. Um, so I think it's going to have to be that really. Yeah, Charles. Well, Definitely an OMG wind there. This is p fairly unpleasant, actually. Um, I'm going to go with the Thor's hammer for the top spin here. That's what I'm going to do. And then we're going to have to go with uh, the cat. Go straight in on this one. Uh, problem is, you know, this is going to be overpower, that's the thing. Slicer or hook is a very good call, actually. Nick Gillard, sorry if I missed you before. Let's have a look. Is anybody we know? Okay, 9.6 with a Titan. It's going to be kind of mid then, isn't it, with a, everything else. Nick Buckingham, how are you doing? Oh, unlucky Nick. Barry Howell, how are you doing? Give it all. <laughs> you know what? I'm wondering about the hook here. It's not a bad shout, that. Not a bad shout. Okay, we're going to go uh, max 20, power 5. Let's see if we can find the short grass on this one. Super Ted, how you doing? Yeah, played well in pro, actually. You know, had some good looks. Oh, God, it's strongest wind, though. That's a pain. Eleven point one. I don't need the curl. Twelve five. Six. Does take me to max. Gonna have to put some overpower on this. It's not gonna be an easy shot. Ugh, it's a bad grate as well. Uh, this is not going to be any good. Oh, we have bounced. But it's going to clip the rough, I think, on the left. Okay. Maybe, to be honest, maybe a little bit too much overpower. Very close to the rough. Obviously, we did it great. Thor's Hammer 7 is an advantage, agreed. Luminary is probably a very good shout really something with the power and a bit more wind resistance like 11.1 fine if you're sending it but when you're battling um headwind bit dull bit dull okay second shot's gonna have to bounce over oh i could have packed the guardian then I could have packed the Guardian. Maybe we could. Let's think. Do we bounce over or not? I'm going to bounce over, I think. I have to go. Um... Uh, 
Let's go max zero, power three. 6.5 and of course we've got the funnel that we were on about in Pro as well I'll tell you what Martin that, that I couldn't have been any close to the rough without it hitting the rough ok we're going to get Eagle but that's a real piggy wind Really not very pleasant that wind angle. Right, hole four coming up. Jeffrey, how you doing? Uh, what level of the B fifty two would you start using it as everyday club? Um, that depends what you're playing really. What tour? I I'd say like um, you know seven, like Lee says level seven. Paul, how's your ball pack different to the Play Store? Twenty ball pack costs nineteen ninety nine, but yours is seventeen ninety nine. Um, Paul, it's not an app; it's to do with tax, to do with Apple, I believe. It's something to do with the change of tax rate. Um, it's been like that for a month or so now. Uh, Ivic, um, I got fifteenth place. It should have been a top six. It should have been six, but I messed up hole nine due to not pushing up enough rings with the APOC level seven compared to my APOC five. Nearly missed the putt there. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's Apple in the UK have reduced the VAT. Hole four is Tailwind. Ooh. And we get a chest. Very nice. Send it? No, it's a par three. Do you mean? Uh, do you mean another? Oh, do you mean another one then? Well, okay. Let's have a look. What we got here? This would be a good chance, really, on this one. I would think. Uh, we okay. There's a rough bump on here, actually. Let's have a look at this rough bump. You know, the Oasis is a difficult course as well. It's a difficult course. You're thinking a whole five. I did wonder. Is this you, Will? Yes. Okay, I'm going to go for the rough bump here. Uh, if you are watching um, Pro or playing Pro, the replay of the live stream is up with the whole chapters on. So if you want to just check out the holes, you can just click the things on the Pro video, obviously, not this one. Uh, click the links, the timestamps, and it'll take you to the holes. Yeah, everybody's in. Everybody's in today. Lovely to see you all. Uh, so Rough Bump here going to set up a plus nine. Liz, lovely Liz, how are you doing? Hope you're well. Okay, Will's going to uh, time out here. As he's practicing. Let's see if we can get this shot right then. So we're going to go a little bit of uh, this time. 7.8, okay, it's a nice win actually. One top and a little bit left. Try and get the offset right though. Let's try it there, 7.8, 9.2. I want a little flicker of 12.01 apparently. So, let's have a look. Ah, oh, great ball, no. Still contacted the rough, but oh God. 
missed quite a way to the right though. I don't think that would have been in with a perfect. Uh, damn it. Great on a par three. Not what we need. Fredo Lee, how you doing? Come on, Will, give him a good look on this one, please. Give him a perfect. That's typical twitchy rough bump great ball itis there from me. The adjustment there is max plus 15. Uh, it is a wind angle that we have had before, that one. Problem is, if you've got wind over 8.5, you're going to have to do, you know, you're into 10 rings plus there. Mark, how are you doing? Uh, it's good morning here. And thank you very much for the good luck as well. Hope you're doing well. You know, at least we didn't hit a great left. Great left is most likely going to miss the rough. Get in. Oh. Right, let's see if I can get the funnel on hole five then. We can hit perfect with the thorn. That'd be nice. Because we failed to do that in pro. I'm wishing him good luck. I know he's practicing, but it's just nice to do that. Okay, crosswind. So let's see what we have here then. Crosswind there. Cross tail. We have anything with cross? Yeah, okay. Um, okay. And we'll do what we did before. Then we'll do uh, the QB job. It's it. Yeah, it's not for the faint-hearted. That rough bump, I must say. See if it'll let me play hole five. Would be nice. No. Come on, god damn it. Make me restart the app. Jesus. Ah, oh, so frustrating when this happens. Golf class Johnny, how you doing? Thank you for the good luck. I'll see if it'll let me back into the account now. Jeffrey, I think the consensus is very good about the new ball bundle, honestly. It's very, very good indeed. Oh, okay, come on. All I want to do is play the next hole You'll look of your lovely finger golf game. There we go. Well done, Triple G. Minus 16 using the shots with tweaks. That is exactly the right thing to do with a first look. Well done. Brilliant. That's boom worthy. So that's two people have shot a minus 16 as a result. So that's, that's awesome. That's it, Kane. The irony, you know, you're live streaming. On the bottom of the stream program, I've got like some colored lights that tell me if the connection suffers and it's green all the way. So there's, there's nothing wrong. It's just, uh, you know, <laughs> what can you do? Great shot. Thank you, Ofa. Yeah, I have a good team. I don't do the graphics myself. Honestly, I can't draw at all. But I have some guys that work on that. Okay. So we're going to back off the uh, top spin a little bit here. I don't want to be too long. Let's try there. 
Seven point nine, uh, mid plus ten, five point four. I'm gonna lose some distance here, so I might just give myself a cheeky pull. A little bit away, deliberately. Oh, I need it perfect. Oh I'm really not coping with the needle speed at the moment. Uh, Ruby, how are you finding it? Um, no, nothing too bad. Hole three is horrendous wind for expert. Pro is not too bad. Get the headwinds out of the way. Um, the biggest problem I have at the moment is hitting perfect in expert. That seems to be a little bit of an uphill struggle. But we're going to try and get one in with the thorn. Do you think we'll ever get an option to permanently turn off the emojis instead of wasting seconds in the game? No, I don't think we will. Uh, will, yeah, we've had this a lot. We've had Park to Parry quite a lot. Uh, the last full nine instance was the full major last year. And that was with the changing wind angles. It was, you know, after the wind changes. So there's going to be, you know, throughout the week, there will be repeat wins that we've had before. Okay, so spin... About 30, aren't we here? Let's try 30% slider. You know, I don't think oh, we do need we do need some left spin. We've got to try and get this ball guide straight. Not bad. 3.2. I'm going to have to move on here pretty quickly. Perfect away. Thank God for that. Oh, okay. Just got that one in. Missed left though, um, needed a little bit more. Drive I played mid plus 10, uh, second shot, I played that 30%, 10% elevation. Um, but you know, the problem with that, obviously the great ball just positioned ourselves a little bit further away, but something to work with. It's gonna be an easy drop that, you know, expert tier three, this is gonna be must eagle, must eagle. Aziz, how you doing? Good to see you. Um, Tyron, no master. Sadly, I didn't have time to play weekly league, so um, I have relegated, so I can't play master, unfortunately. Okay, we have a repeat wind here as well. So we're going to be able to play the rough bump, I do believe. Walked in on the boom. Nice. Hope you're doing well. Okay. All six. 20% on the drive then. Or is it 10? I should have done 10 in the past. This might be more a uh, tailwind. Oh. Mini Masters put you an expert uh, tier three, Nick. Enjoy. You have my deepest sympathy. Uh, is there a blast on this one? But it clearly is a blast. Let's see where this guy goes. I like it when I get an opponent that does something that I'm not going to do. Gives you guys an extra option. Depending how it goes, of course. He's contacted the fairway. It's not a bad, not a bad go. That is, it could be a lot worse. Um, what we got here then? Can we play with the APOC? Yeah, we're not at max, of course. So. Um, I don't know, what's max 10 going to give me? Mid 20 is 5.8, max 10 is 6.1. I 
Let's go 6.1 max plus 10. You know, as long as we don't get a funky bounce, we should be okay. I really need to hit perfect though, my God. Ah, uh, sit, please. God, you needed some perfect balls. So let's see where this guy was. Obviously, he was short and to the right with his send it option. So he could have done with moving a little bit, a little bit to the left. Definitely going to be a send it option here, though. Definitely. A uh, rough bump here has been played minus five in the past. Bonus member stream coming up straight after this one. If you are a channel member, I'm going to buy the golf pass on my two uh, two of my accounts. Oh God, that's a super unlucky, super unlucky. So stick around. Member stream coming up after this. Right. Obviously, we are very, very much to the right here with that drive. So if I can actually see what the ball guide is doing. Uh, we're not in very good position after our drive here, unfortunately, so um, this is not very going to be a very good look at it. Let's see if we can get this shot away without hitting the tree. And a great left. God, timing is just terrible. But, you know, it's a bad drive to start with, so we're not going to have a very good look at the rough bump with that. Played it, you know, in between uh, min and mid, minus five. Uh, channel memberships you can, I believe, do with PayPal. I don't know, though. Somebody will be able to answer in the chat. Feel sorry for our opponent, though. He got really close with Albatross, just hopped out. You see, look at that. There's a there is a very nice um, funnel there. If you want to try and catch. Oh, okay. Here's Aziz with the knowledge. The send it is aimed flush in the centre over the bunkers. Are just ten max, then go twenty rings for apoc seven, and respectively other clubs and hook, uh, but not one hundred percent full curl. That's the the. That's the uh, inside scoop there. Thank you very much. Okay, what we got on all seven then? Oh, well, then this is going to be ascended ball, isn't it? It's going to be absolutely send it here. See what we have. We had this in the past. Oh yeah, I've just seen there was a slice actually there aiming in the water. I could have tried that. Didn't realise we had that. Okay, what else do we have? Just having a look at some options here, so bear with me. Okay, so it's going to be that one. Okay, so we do have Tailwind. Let's put a Berserker on and see what we can do. Oh, 
There we go. Thank you very much for the um, info there about the PayPal. Point three. I'm going max 10 and then I'm going to push up to max let's have a look I'm not going full OP. Um, which we needed to do, and obviously a perfect ball. That's going to be a, a tweakable shot. A little bit more curl. Definitely needed there. Even with the great, perfect would have been in the sand. Um, and probably another ring of OP. And just want to park up on the uh, right of the green, really. To be honest, Henry Hall, how you doing? Klaus, good to see you. Uh, Tyron, I'm with the team, uh, with Tommy for the guides. I'm part of the team on those. So I do a lot of the pro stuff. And then um, help with, uh, you know, proofreading and whatever with expert and master as well. So a lot of this stuff, you know, I've got some old guides here that we've had from previous tournaments <clears throat> to use as a basis. Obviously, not all the wind arrows are the same, but some of the shot setups are the same. And you just tweak the spin. Um, obviously, I'm in the thick of the trees here. Uh, but there's going to be some crazy scores in Expert. Absolutely crazy scores. Yeah. Uh, this one is basically a must eagle, as is hole uh, five, really. Aaron's got the KFC on the go, making me hungry. It always gets to this point of the stream about 10 in the morning that I start to get a bit peckish. Yeah, as Will says, he, he can see a minus 19 and... Um, I, you know, I, I don't think that's going to be far off. There's going to be some absolutely crazy scores. And, you know, it's all very well, you know, saying we know the course well. We've got, we've, we've had it so many times before. Which, okay, on one hand it makes it easier because you know it. But then in the tough brackets, like your expert tier three, that is going to make those brackets way, way harder because everybody there who is up there is also going to know the course like the back of their hand you know it's not like last time was wiseacre ranch and nobody knew it you know it was new it was the same to everybody um so like will says there's going to be absolutely astronomical scores in expert and as we've seen before expert it gets easier wins than pro I don't want a glitchy rough bump though. Really. That's so glitchy there. I never remember this to be that glitchy. This might even miss. Great shot. I snuck it in. <laughs> What's harder for me, expert tier two or pro tier three? Expert um, pro tier three is harder than expert um, tier two easily. Easily. 
But then again, let's not forget pro tier three. Uh, sometimes you're in a tough bracket that there are like hidden tiers within that. So, you know, there's, there's always that as well. Uh, can power slice this one? Yes, absolutely. Okay, hole eight. Crosswind hole eight, okay. Which we do actually have something here already. So, Kane, thank you for the good luck. Much appreciated. It's Will again. It's good on the sniping. Ofa's going to flap this one. Going to go to expert too. The thing is, it takes a lot of flappers, I believe, to drop down. Maybe less if you've just been in tier three and you can probably drop down easier. Yep, don't forget BK clans. Uh, BK one is now in. Um, what's he doing here? What's he doing? I should have emptied a chest slot, shouldn't I? BK1 is now in Expert 3, and we'll be breaking up into Master, and we have to start plotting a C100 run. If you fancy joining us, do a Channel Clan uh, C100 push, then in a couple of seasons, uh, we should try and sort something out. What are you doing? Definitely don't want a berserker. Why did I put that on? Eight point five. I'm going to play this one at 7.2. Uh, let's see where this goes. Not wonderfully confident about this. We'll see. Perfect ball at least, so that's uh, an improvement on the last hole. Ooh, it's very hot. Very, very hot. Um, but the line was not bad. Played min plus five. What are you doing? Big top and done. If this goes in, I'll give away 50 quid. Um, did pro wins are hard. Um... It's a mixture, Jeffrey. Actually, they're not too bad. There's a couple of headwinds, but um, hole nine is headwind. Um, three was not too bad, though. That was cross tailwind. Um, so it wasn't too bad. But generally, I find pro is hard, pro has harder winds than expert. They give expert a lot of send it wind, uh, an awful lot. Um, you know, I looked at the last two wind charts. Uh, in the mini and the last main tournament and there was somewhere like the par fives on the wiseacre ranch were difficult and expert did ha have no headwind at all on the par fives and pro had headwind on like three or four of them and i feel with pro people have more varying club level than in expert so it was very unfair for people with lower clubs uh hole five in pro if you have do you mean quarterback in level 10? What yardage reference do you put? Uh, same as quarterback 9, Dave, if I'm um, thinking correctly, because it should be the same yardage. I'm going to play with the rock here then. Don't need the rocket. I 
I think that's right, Dave. Just, just somebody check that though, but it shouldn't make a difference with the quarterback. Uh, with the um, with the setup, it shouldn't do. Okay, cross tail. All right, let's go with this then. That's it. That's exactly it, Will. The problem with pro is tailwinds aren't strong enough to send it, but headwinds are awful because of the low clubs. That is very, very true. Very, very true. Okay, you're going to need some left here and some top. Max plus five. Oh, I haven't got the rock in the bag. Christ. Quick. 8.4. Slice it. No, I'm, t I'm a terrible slice player. <laughs> Terrible. That's okay. Maybe could have pushed a bit further to the left and a little bit more up. We've got the tree in the way here, but it should be okay. But uh, definitely need to go a little bit more to the left on that one. Could have gone with three, uh, three left spin. Behind on the scorecard. Apologies. There you go. Did I mute you? Oh God, I am sorry. Sorry. That's force of habit, that is. Like I've said so many times, I just, I, I'm terrible at noticing who I'm playing. I'm terrible, especially when I'm streaming. Right, let's see if I've got the tree in my way here then. No, we're okay. We're okay. He's done. Okay, so we just need some. Uh, just need the top spin then. Six top. Am I? I'm going to push this up actually. Sometimes, actually, there's also the option of playing there with left spin. Which is something we've done in the past. Right, 5.6. I'm going to push this up a little bit as well. Give myself a couple of rings. Just get this one out. I mean, you know. Ooh, glitch roll. That's it. I'm not going to get in the hole, sadly, but uh, going to try expert first time, Dave. All the best. Um, you know, sadly, I didn't hit as many perfect balls as I would like, which is not going to surprise you that I'm disappointed with a couple of those. But, you know, we've had a, a good look at the wins. Uh, there's definitely going to be some low scores there, to be honest. Definitely going to be some low scores. in uh, tier three these par fours uh, must drop on five must drop on seven with the tailwind um, really to be quite honest like the par fours are the easy thing really the what's going to really separate is is nailing the par threes getting as many of those as possible and then if people can find something on the par fives to give them the edge and, you know, an albatross tie break, if possible, then uh, that's really going to be uh, where the banners are, is, is trying to get something extra on the par fives. But there we go. A 13 for a first look. There we are. So that one concludes. Expert.